Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you how to upload my designs to Vistaprint and have your cards printed. I'll show you how to find your files, save them and upload them to Vistaprint without having to worry about lining up the image so that it's centered on the card. So once I have edited your designs, you will receive an email that looks like this. What you'll want to do is open the email and click on this link. This will open up a new page in Google Drive where you will see a PDF and a JPEG of each design that you have ordered. If you have ordered five or more designs, you will also see a free gift folder which contains the business card and application instruction designs. To save your files, what you want to do is left click on one of them and click the download button which looks like an arrow facing downward towards a horizontal line. So save each one of your files to a folder on your computer where you'll be able to locate them in the future. Okay, so once you have downloaded your files, you're ready to upload them to Vistaprint. So what you want to do is open up the Vistaprint website, hover your mouse over business cards and click on premium business cards. This is the fastest way to upload the designs. So it'll load this page here and you want to click on use your complete design and select whether you want a horizontal or vertical card. I'm going to select horizontal. So here we go. To upload the design, what you'll want to do is click on my computer. So add images from my computer and choose your image. I'm just going to find one here. Uh, remember that the JPEG does print in a higher quality than your PDF, so if you're uploading to Vistaprint, I would suggest using the JPEG. So click Upload and just wait. It's going to take a little while to load because it is a, lot, a big file, uh, but uh, you can see that it is trying to upload straight to this section here, which is what we want. So once that bar reaches 100%, it's going to start loading your design on your card here. So you can see that it has already loaded it right in the center. You can click preview. It'll give you a little diagram of what it's going to look like when it's printed. You can see that it's not too much to one side. That's exactly what we want. So in order to add a design to the back of the card, click on add a reverse side. And you want to click on full color. click on image but what you want to do is delete this image that you've already got so that's not going to remove it from the card that's just going to delete it from your recent images this is key to get the back of the card image lined up in the middle so click on add images from my computer again and load up the image that you want on the back so I'm going to use the application instructions and open and I'm going to see how it loads right in the center of the page here that's what we want so you don't have to drag it over and line it up and stretch it out it's going to automatically put it right in the center of the screen so we'll wait for that bar to get to 100 percent there we go so once that's reached 100 percent it's going to load it up into the middle of the page again it might take a few seconds there we go so I can press preview and have another look at that I can click on reverse side or side by side and see both the sides of the card. And what you want to do next is click on next, which will take you to a review page. So this is where you can see a larger image of what your card is going to look like. So long as that is completely in the middle, that's exactly what we want. I'm happy with those. So I'll click approve my design and click next. So if you are logged into your account, it's going to take you over to this screen. If you're not logged in, log in, it will take you straight to the screen here. And it's going to give you the option to select the quantity. I'm just going to select 250 for this tutorial. I'll click next. And then it will go through the options of what finish and paper stock you want to use. So you can click matte or glossy. I'm going to select glossy because they print the best. and you'll see that it's in your cart here. So there it is in my cart. Now if I want to add more cards to my cart, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll hover over business cards, click on premium business cards, use your complete design, select which layout you want, I'll click vertical, 
and continue. Now this is the key if you're uploading more designs for more cards see how it's got an image in the recent images we want to delete that because if you've got something sitting there in recent images and you go to upload a new image it won't automatically upload it to the center of this uh, spot here it will just put itself over here on the left and you'll have to drag it over stretch the image out uh, and try and get it positioned in the middle so if you deleted that images from your recent images and then upload a new image it will start to load automatically in the middle for you so you don't have to worry about positioning that in the center of the card and once that reaches 100% it will start to load that into the center of your page again so I can click next click on full color image delete this other image and add a new image so I can add that to the back of the page I'm not sure why that's in a different language but once I've done that I can click on next review my image if I'm happy with that I have reviewed my image and approved the design click on next select the quantity the finish and the paper stock next and you'll see that it's gone to my card so there we have both of my cards there uh, they've been positioned right in the center of the card I haven't had to stretch it out and fit it in properly so it's all done and I'm ready to check out so there you go that's how you upload the designs to Vistaprint and have them printed uh, perfectly in the middle